Morgan Henderson and I am a board certified music therapist employed by West Music in Coralville. I'm Erin Ebnett, music therapist board certified. I also work at the West Music in Coralville. Well Soundreach was um, started in 1995 by Kirsten Nelson. She was um, the director of music therapy at West Music at that time um, and she thought that our community really needed a choir for adults with developmental disabilities to give them a, chan a musical chance to be successful because um, there's lots of other choirs in the area but maybe they don't really feel comfortable participating in those so Kirsten decided to start this for for them to give them a chance to socialize with each other and really give them an opportunity to be successful. Good evening everybody. My name is Morgan Henderson and this is my co-director Erin Ebnitz and welcome to our spring Soundreach concert. We are working very hard on friends songs this um, session. Our first song, I'll Be There For You, was recorded by the Rembrandts in 1994 and is better known as a theme song to the sitcom Friends. Oh! 
We have about 140. Yeah, with all four choirs. All four choirs. Ooh. So that's all the locations. So, okay. Yeah. So there actually are currently choirs in Marion, mm -hmm. um, Marion, Davenport, and Urbandale right now. As in well addition, say they, they really hear about Soundreach. We send out flyers and emails mm -hmm. um, to different agencies in the area, and a lot of a lot of our members have been coming for years, yes. and so they basically yes. tell their friends, and the, the word gets spread around. We have two sessions a year for Soundreach. We have a session in the fall and the spring. And we have breaks in between. So even during the breaks, they're talking about Soundreach. They're asking when Soundreach is starting. They're asking what the theme is. They're very, they're excited about it all year long. So mm -hmm. it's something that they really look forward to. Originally, You Got a Friend was written as a theme song for Disney Pixar animated film Toy Story. It's one of our favorites. So hope you enjoy You Got a Friend and Me.
board certified music therapist um, mm -hmm. employed by West Music. So we, in addition to doing the choir, we work with a number of other um, individuals. Uh, mm -hmm. We work in group homes and schools. We do hospice sessions. Um, so we, we have a number of other uh, clients that we work with as well. Steve West um, wanted me a music therapy department because a music therapist saw his father, I believe. Mm -hmm. It was his father. He be really strongly believed in it, so he decided that he wanted to start um, a music therapy department in West Music. Music therapy is a, um, it's a healthcare profession, so usually people are um, referred to music therapy by doctors or other um, other professionals in the area and usually people will recommend West Music just because we're just so embedded in the community it seems. Mm -hmm. um, but other times people just kind of hear about it through the grapevine and give us a call and find out more about it. We, we see a variety of um, people. Each music therapist at West Music has a different caseload but several of us work with um, many of the same populations. Mm -hmm. We work with, with adults with developmental disabilities and children. A lot of times, a lot of children with autism in the schools. Uh, a lot of us work in the schools. And in that situation, we are normally referred by the IEP team. So that might be something where um, the parent hears about music therapy or the teacher uh, realizes that the student's very musical or um, responds well to music. They don't mm -hmm. have to be musical, but they need to have a positive mm -hmm. response. In that situation, um, th that child might be referred for music therapy and then we will do an assessment and if they are, if, if it's shown that they do better working towards their um, goals in school, then they'll be referred for music therapy or they'll receive music therapy. <laughs> We have another song called You Got a Friend. This song was written in 1971 by Carol King and, was and was recorded by Carol King and James Taylor. Taylor's version became a number one hit on the Billboard Top 100, so enjoy You Got a Friend.
1961. Inspired by a spiritual, King's recording became number one on the R&B charts. There have been over 400 recorded versions of this song. Here is Stand By Me. but um, in total in all of our stores we have 13 right now I it's 13. we have at least 13 and we have a one intern and then in the fall we'll actually have two music therapy interns that will be with West Music then do you work with elderly populations mm -hmm. I do personally I will go into nursing homes and work with adults who have um, Alzheimer's or dementia or other um, related disorders so I work in some nursing homes and also some adult daycare centers in the area what about hospice? I do, we, well, you have one, but mm -hmm. um, I don't personally work with hospice, but another therapist in our office um, extensively works with hospice patients. Mm -hmm. Inspired by his child home of Sudford, oh. West Virginia, Phil Withers wrote Me on Me after moving to Los Angeles and is ranked 205 of Rolling Stone's list of the 500 greatest songs of all time. Here is Me on Me.
outreach is just a really it's a really great opportunity to get people involved and as Morgan said help them be successful and um, singing songs that, that they enjoy and um, having a chance to to have a voice and even, and even some of our choir members are nonverbal but they're still up here with their friends mm -hmm. and they are still part of this group opportunity and that's something that their parents and their friends they get to mm -hmm. invite their friends and their parents and they're very excited about mm -hmm. that it just gives them an opportunity to as you said feel special and sure. to um, just have that opportunity that mm -hmm. I think everybody would like mm -hmm. so. yeah. mm -hmm. Well, it's a song that we actually close our rehearsals with every single week. It's by Roger Emerson. And it's called Circle of Friends. And if you look on the back of your program, what are our words? So if you feel comfortable singing along, we'd love to have your support. And it's part of our